Newton's second law says that if you have some mass and you exert some force on it, it will accelerate with an acceleration that's proportional in some way to that force. And that proportionality happens to be the mass. So this net force is when you have multiple forces acting on an object, you sum them all up and you get a net resultant force that's acting on, on this mass, where m is the mass, and it will accelerate based on the force applied on it. In words, you could say the acceleration of a system is directly proportional to and in the same direction as the net external force acting on the system, and it's inversely proportional to the mass, which is kind of like saying my acceleration is equal to the force that's applied on something divided by the mass. You can express this in terms of another concept of linear momentum that we'll mention now, even though I'm not going to use it for a little bit, it'll be useful in, for example, collisions. And linear momentum is we can take a mass, and if a mass is moving with some velocity v, then it will have some linear momentum that's given by the mass times that velocity. Because it's multiplying by a velocity here, that linear momentum will also be a vector quantity, just like velocity is. And if you express Newton's second law using linear momentum, you can say that the net force acting on an object is equal to the time derivative of linear momentum. In other words, it's the rate of change the of linear momentum, the rate at which my linear momentum is changing over time. 